What's good guys? Welcome back to another review video. Today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Coastal Overshirt by BYLT or Built. Um, but they have this in four different colors. I just have it in one. This is the slate blue, but I'll put the other colors on the screen right now. All of them are really nice. Uh, but to be honest, this is probably my favorite product from them since the boxer briefs. And that says a lot because they have a ton of high quality products. So the first thing I noticed about this product was how high quality it was. It was thicker and heavier and like more dense than I had anticipated. And I was pleasantly surprised because I think I was expecting a flannel and I got a legitimate midweight jacket. First up we have Fit. They are getting a 5.3 out of 6. I think the fit is perfect as far as an overshirt goes. The arms are relatively slim. Length is perfect. So I think that's a fair score. And for comfort they are getting a 3 out of 4. 75% just like the Cuts Sherpa. It's actually extremely soft on the outside. They actually brush this to make it really super soft. Uh, but on the inside it's really not white as soft it kind of just feels like a regular shirt um, but it really doesn't matter because I'd always be wearing something underneath this anyway as it is a like an over shirt the one thing you notice with this one compared to the Faherty stretchy flannel that I reviewed a couple videos ago is the stretch the lack thereof I, I should say um, but when you try and stretch this or put on let's say a hoodie underneath you can do it it's just a little bit restricting because there's not as much stretch, therefore making it not quite as comfortable. Not uncomfortable, just not even close to the Faherty one. That gives them a total of 8.3 out of 10, but now I want to talk about value because that's where this really shines. Right now, I think they're having a sale. It's under $100 for this thing, and if you are to try it, I know the first thing you'll notice is the quality right off the bat. It is way heavier than I would have anticipated. It feels way more like a mid-weight jacket than it does a flannel. Um, so as far as the score only getting like a three, an 8.3, that's for fit and comfort, not including quality, right? So for value, I'm going to have to give them between a good and great just because it is almost $100. But... The quality is just so good it's the best shirt jacket probably I've had I have a couple like really nice wool ones though but those are like super duper expensive um, but this is a great alternative to that I would have got the tan one the tan one is definitely the number one color in my choice but I also have a tan wool jacket Look, looks very similar so I wanted to switch it up and get this color so this was my second choice but all of them are really nice so I don't think you can go wrong all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, I did want to bring in my best friend, 
how long have we been best friends? I think three years now, just to give his thoughts, see what he has to say. Here he is. He just wanted to say that he approves. Blue is his favorite color, so. Oh, so she snapped me to snip it. Well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been dad. Wanna fuck me looking.